Live, where news comes first. This is ABC7 with breaking news. Texas has scored a big, though temporary, victory on its fight against illegal immigration. The Supreme Court cleared the way for state officials to begin enforcing the controversial immigration law known as Senate Bill 4. Thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 5. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Paul Sikala. Today, ABC 7 is bringing you complete team coverage. Kerry Mannix is reporting on reaction from the civil rights organizations and its fears about racial profiling. And ABC 7's Heriberto Perez has reaction from from immigration advocates and ABC 7's Brianna Perez looks into the financial impact this could have on the county. Let's start with Brianna who joins us live overlooking the U.S.-Mexico border. Brianna. Stephanie Paul, we spoke with County Judge Ricardo Samaniego who says this is something they have been preparing for but are worried how this could impact the county financially. Now this Supreme Court decision means any law enforcement officer in Texas is allowed to arrest migrants suspected of crossing into the country illegally. But it's important to note today's decision only allows enforcement of the law while legal challenges to it continue in a lower federal appeals court where both sides are set to argue on April 3rd. Now, according to El Paso County Judge Samaniego, this will require a tremendous amount of money from our community that could be going towards quality of life or infrastructure. Instead, the money will be used for housing those arrested in the county jail. He says they will also push more federal inmates out along with the funding we receive for housing them. The burden, he says, will then fall on the taxpayers. Understand that SB4 would be a huge impact on them. Uh, they would do increase taxes, obviously, because there's no way that we could do that. The other thing that's, that happens is when uh, companies that are trying to come in or tourism is trying to come into El Paso, SB4 frightens them you know, that they were going to be arresting, that there's going to be high-speed chases. And so uh, our image that we've worked so hard on it can be tarnished again. And coming up on ABC 7 at 6, the other challenges the judge says that the community could face, including high-speed chases. For now, reporting in West El Paso, Brianna Perez, ABC 7. All right, Brianna, thank you. And local migrant advocates are also reacting to today's decision by the U.S. Supreme Court. ABC 7's Eddie Berto Perez spoke with these migrant advocates and joins us live from the border wall to continue our complete team coverage. Eddie. Good afternoon, Stephanie. They say this was an administrative decision, but an unfortunate one that was clearly made on Republican Party lines. The executive director of the Border Network for Human Rights, Fernando Garcia, asks how the Supreme Court judges cannot see previous arguments that Senate Bill 4 could be an unconstitutional law that poses a major danger to the El Paso community. They also, they also think they could have suspended Senate Bill 4 until the Court of Appeals make a final decision. For Garcia, the consequences of Senate Bill 4 will not only be for migrants, but for citizens and residents of the state of Texas. The Border Network for Human Rights also told me some of the consequences this law can have for Texans. First, they are not giving an, a, a single penny to the city or the county. I mean, this is an unfunded mandate. This is a burden on the city, on taxpayers' money. So even in that aspect, it's going to be disastrous because this law there's no way that you can implement this law without racially profiling people, violating civil rights, and then impacting the economy of local cities. But that's, that's not and Paul, Stephanie, just as Executive Garcia, Executive Director Garcia gave me his thoughts on Senate Bill 4 now that it's in effect. The chairman of the Republican Party in El Paso County also gave me his thoughts on the decision taken by the, by the Supreme Court today. I will have more on Tellez and Garcia's reactions coming up tonight on ABC 7 at 6. Reporting live from the U.S.-Mexico border, Heriberto Perez, ABC 7. Thank you, Heriberto. Civil rights advocates are already trying to fight the law. ABC 7's Carrie Maddox joins us live with details from downtown El Paso. Carrie. Paul, the League of United uh, Latin American Citizens, or LULAC, says it wants to protect the rights of migrants that are here legally. They also want to protect the rights of U.S. citizens that they say could be impacted by this. Now, LULAC officials argue that civil rights violations could increase because of this law. 
To combat that, the group is working on a statewide education program. They're calling it the Know Your Rights program, meaning exactly that. They say they want people to know they have a right to the Fifth Amendment, bail reform, and an attorney. Officials say they're doing this so people can have a proper due process if they wind up in court. We will fight for a bipartisan immigration reform that will truly do something about the situation, the humanitarian crisis on our border, and opening up legal ways for people to come to this country and cracking down on cartels and human smugglers and then those who abuse those immigrants of this country that are here undocumented. Now, LULAC officials also spoke to the wider implications they say they, they believe could happen nationwide. That's coming up on ABC 7 at 6. But for now, reporting live from Sacred Heart Church, I'm Carrie Mannix, ABC 7. All right, Carrie. Governor Greg Abbott posted his reaction to the decision on social media. He said, quote, in a 6-3 to three decision, SCOTUS allows Texas to begin enforcing SB 4 that allows the arrest of illegal immigrants. He, we will have to have hearings in the Fifth Circuit Federal Court of Appeals, but this is clearly a positive development, end quote. Today, Congresswoman Veronica Escobar released the following statement. She said in part, quote, any implementation of SB4, regardless of duration, is guaranteed to fuel further and more egregious civil rights violations and racial profiling in Latino communities like mine. And it's long past time that Congress reforms outdated immigration laws that can both better secure the border and open up legal pathways for, immigration, or for immigrants, end quote. New at 5, Mayor Oscar Leeser is weighing in on the Supreme Court's SB4 decision, saying in part, quote, While the city of El Paso will always follow state law, it is no secret that our police department is short-staffed and our number one priority has and will continue to be public health and safety, not enforcing immigration law.